Hello, welcome back. I would like us to configure pop-ups in ArcGIS Pro by um, adding a hyperlink path to a field of a feature class and we will do this in ArcGIS Pro. So let's get into it. All right, so I have our feature uh, item here on my uh, software. We will uh, right click and open the attribute table you can see here I have a few fields and one of the fields holds the photos the path to the photos the other one holds the path to um, my pdfs but one thing that i want to do is to um, show this pdf once i click on the pop-up you can see the information that i have here but we need to add another field um, and we can call it however we want to but this will carry the hyperlink that we want to click on and showcase the pdf so let's do it all right so while i am here you can uh, light click and go to design open fields view or alternatively you can uh, uh, go to view this section make sure your attribute table is activated and once it's activated you can click on fields and this allows you to create another field and we are going to call it hyperlink uh, it will be a text field and then we can increase the length to 500 characters we will enter make sure to save so while that is done, um, you can close out of these and you have your hyperlink field added already. So what do we do next from this point? We have this HTML syntax, as you can see it on the screen. And this is the one that we are going to use in order to add a hyperlink, which will allow us to click on a field and then open um, the PDF using our default PDF opener in our machine. But one thing you have to note is that you can see we represent or showcase our field using uh, the local directory path where we have our PDFs um, saved. So this is in uh, this local machine. All right, so while you're here, um, you are going to use the calculate field by right clicking and then uh, you're going to calculate and we are calculating this hyperlink field and using um, these html syntax i'm going to uh, replace the file path um, using my uh, using my uh, path where i have my pdfs saved and then i will calculate and showcase my pdfs as a hyperlink so let's write it So the HTML syntax that we will use um, to clear the hyperlink is done. And then once that is done, you uh, validate. So let's see how it does. All right, so it calculated and replaced all the items um, accordingly. And if you click on this point, you will realize that we have a hyperlink uh, that you can click on and open the pdf so uh, that specific point you can open the pdf read the pdf however you want you realize that this name is not so intuitive um but how can you go about that every one of these points is you know uh, represented using the click here option that's not something that you may want to do and um Maybe you can use another name to say this is the PDF that I want. Let it be used as the name in this option. So how do you go about that? This is how. So we will right click again, calculate the field. And so while we are here, I am going to write the same, uh, the very same um, syntax, but instead of having the click here option i will use the field i will um use l concatenate and use this field uh field name instead of click here option and then that will be applied to every other um item that i'm representing here so let's do it all 
menu validate looks all right so you realize that we just changed um this section and we use something called concatenation and if you're familiar with python programming you might have touched a little bit of that so that's what we did here added the name instead of having it hard coded in such a way we have a common name for every other attribute in that section so we make it nicer by including the name of one of the fields that is representative of what we are showcasing here so after the validation just uh, be sure to click apply so while that one is applied uh, you can, can copy that so you can come to one of these items click on it all right and then if you click uh, for instance in uncollege click on uncollege so you'll be sure that it will open the period so the syntax is correct there and um, each one of these points has its intuitive name so if you come to this point you will for sure be knowing what you are clicking on um, and you're good from that point all right so the next thing uh, because we are configuring pop-ups here we can close out of that so you can right click the feature item and then configure pop-ups and you can say uh, this is that name so and the source url uh, you specify to be the photo uh, part there okay just include any that you want and then if you backtrack and click on this section here you'll be able to see um your image there so all right so i hope you learned something and that's what you can do with pop-ups in arcgis pro and we gotta learn this brain here and i hope you learned something um that you are going to apply in your projects and if you have any questions just let me know by commenting under uh, um, this tutorial. So see you in the next one. Bye.